Hi, it's Casey here from Student Job Search. I'm a recent environmental studies grad and I'm here presenting a new video series on waste reduction to help you do your bit to reduce, reuse and recycle your waste, keeping it out of landfill. If you haven't already, sign up to hear more from us on this and other useful topics for you around your home. Welcome to our second video on smarter waste management. You've already been reducing your waste after our first video, right? Let's look at the second way we can cut our landfill footprint down. In this video, I'm looking at the great ways you can reuse some of that one use waste that you can get stuck with. With a bit of imagination, this is the second tool in our arsenal to keep junk out of landfill. First up, refills, refills, refills. There are plenty of items around the home that you can refill rather than buy new. Not only are refills often packaged more sustainably, like tin cans or biodegradable packaging, they're more often than not cheap as well. So let's check out some everyday examples. So you like the easy squeezy bottles for tea sauce? No problem, just make sure you buy the canned refills when you're out. They'll save you money, plus tin cans can be recycled cheaper and easier than plastic. In fact, according to recycle.co.nz, cans can be recycled forever. That means like a really long time. Not only that, but recycling takes only 5% of the energy and CO2 than making them in the first place. We will of course recycle these cans, but even if they went to landfill, they can break down in only 50 years. Unlike plastic bottles, they can take up to 500. Ugh. So refills are a win-win, but what else can we refill, I hear you ask? How about plastic bottles? Just refill it and you're ready to go every day. Or there's washing up liquid, hand soaps, body wash, laundry detergent, shampoo, printer ink, cooking oils, coffee, lighter fluid. Oh, you get my point. There are plenty of brands that now offer user-friendly packaging, or if not, at least offer environmentally friendly refill packets. Keep an eye out for them at your local supermarket. All right, that's enough on refills. Let's get crafty. Another sweet way to reduce your landfill footprint is reusing your waste for crafts to make something. You'll be amazed at some of the Pinterest ready stuff that you can make for almost nothing. We get a little bit creative. So here it goes. Oh, there's just something about candles that add to the atmosphere. Old jam jars can make great candles. All you need to do is get yourself a block of beeswax from the craft store or online, some wick and something to decorate it with. Then you have all you need to turn your neon lit house into a relaxing sanctuary. Of course, there's other uses for glass jars. Fill them with colored sand for decorative pieces around the home, pop cuttings in them before you plant them in the garden, and if you're a bit handy, they're really good for storing nuts and bolts. And there's even something to impress Santa as well. I find Pinterest a gold mine of ideas of how to reuse stuff around the home, from glass jars, from what we just talked about, to cardboard, cloth, plastic, you name it. Check it out for inspiration. Here's a great tip for parents out there. One parent's trash is another kid's treasure, or something like that. For green thumb kids, set aside food scraps and use them to grow food. Old egg cartons or yogurt pots make great little indoor gardens to grow spring onions in. Or cut off the top of a carrot and plant them in the egg carton. Powered by food scraps, they'll shoot up for your child's amazement. Other cleaned up household trash can be great for young kids too. Collect up items like tissue boxes, empty loo rolls or yogurt containers and keep them aside in a build box. To us, this is junk. But to a child with a bit of glue, it could be a rocket ship. You'll be amazed at what they might make out of nothing, and not to mention keeping them entertained for hours. Yes! So, that's us all done with today's video. I hope you've got some great tips on how to turn your trash into treasure with a dash of imagination. It's the second way that you can keep your footprint down by reducing, reusing, and recycling. Remember, over time, these changes really stack up. For me, in a month, that looks like all of this that I can give a second life. Imagine what you could do. Make sure you subscribe to our e-news below to keep up to date with this video series. Next time, we'll get into the nitty gritty of how you can make sure that your recycling is actually recycled. You'll be surprised how much actually goes into landfill, but don't you worry, we'll give you the tools to put a halt to that nasty business. Kaki for now.